I don't know who needs to be told this, but just keep your head above water. Your story is going to get so much better soon. Hey girl. Hello, my beautiful Aries. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly you versus them reading, Aries. When it comes to any of my readings, be sure to rely on your description. I also do your weekly general reading for your zodiac sign, Aries, which I'll leave a link to over here for you to check out at a later point if you'd like. But when it comes to my readings, Aries, this reading's here just to give you some perspective, something for you to consider as you go throughout your week, right? I'm not here to make a decision in your life. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't, because I'm not going to be offended by it. Um, <clears throat> Also, if you find some cards that resonate with you, Aries, I would really appreciate it for you to give me a like and subscribe because it does help out my channel a lot, Aries, and I always am super appreciative of it when you guys take the time to do that for me because it does help out my channel a lot. And then also, Aries, be sure to let me know in the comments below which card resonates with you the most and how. Uh, that's how I keep up with y'all in the comments, and I just love um, hearing how the cards resonate with each of you guys in such unique ways. Now, excuse me one moment, Aries. I had a couple cards fall. <coughs> I guess there's just one card. One card that fell is the Chariot, but I don't feel drawn to um, have that. I don't feel like it associates with your reading. So, Aries, I already pulled some general energy cards for you. We have the void of course moon, nothing will come of this situation. So we can take this in a few ways, Aries. We can take this in a way of this connection and where it's just kind of like this connection is kind of at a dead end, um, which I'm kind of, we'll see about this, Aries. We'll definitely need some clarifiers for this uh, later on to get some better understanding of what's going on here. Um, but there definitely is something that I definitely do feel like it's something that you're doing, Aries, that that card is coming in for that's really honing in on this energy where it's just like, this isn't conducive for your life. You, you know, wash your hands clean of it, right? It's just such an energy of where it's like, you need to like move on from it. So we have the Empress card coming in for you, as well as the Eight of Wands as well for you, Aries. So this is a really powerful energy of you coming into your own. This is someone who's starting to feel a lot more confident in what it is that they're doing and trying to accomplish in their life. And this is someone that's getting a much better sense of themselves, of what it is that they are about, you know, definitely are in this place of growing and learning uh, areas. And definitely, yeah, it's just the sense of you are realizing your potential you are realizing how good you are, how beautiful you are, uh, Aries. It's almost like you're finally healing past, like, karmic wounds, right? You're healing, um, pa like, stuff, past traumas that you had, perhaps with past other, well, with past connections, perhaps, uh, Aries, and you're just really in this place of growth. So I'm really interested to see how that void of course moon correlates with your reading because i see this as like for the empress card coming in with that eight of wands i really do see this as a sense of um you feeling extremely empowered aries so what is what is not for this situation what is like <laughs> like i'm just curious of what is not what what isn't going to come from this situation i guess right what's up with that so I'm going to be pulling a card for you, Aries, a card for them, and a card for the energy between y'all two. And so I'm looking at this energy, Aries, and I can kind of get the sense of what is actually that card is for. So <laughs> let me explain. We have on your side, Aries, the High Priestess. You're tapped into your intuition. You're in this place of listening to yourself now, listening to your gut instinct, connecting to your spirit guides, archangels, if you do uh, any sort of... Uh, practice like that, Aries, you're definitely just in this place of um, paying attention, right? You're in this place of keeping yourself guarded, not letting anything known, but you're paying attention to this other person's and like what it is that they're doing. And on their side of things, Aries, they have the death card coming in. <laughs> so it is giving me a sense of there's like a closure to the cycle. Right? It's giving me this sense of 
on their side of things, they're kind of seeing this as like being done with and kind of wanting to wash their hands clean of it as well, Aries. And then as the energy between y'all two, we have the strength card coming in. So Aries, this is definitely a week of shadow work between the two of y'all. Y'all may have gotten into a fight and that's probably perhaps what's going on here. Aries aware is just like, maybe you guys got into a little bit of conflict and it got a little bit heated, right? And now everyone's kind of just like in this place of like feeling hurt, feeling some anger. Um, and it does kind of feel like both parties are checked out. But I feel like there's a little bit more to this story. I feel like, um, I don't know. I just get the sense that uh, this is not over, right? But we'll see. Maybe Tarot will make me a liar this time. Aries, maybe it's going to just give more affirmation to closure when it comes to this connection. Uh, but we're going to start pulling some clarifiers now, Aries, on your side of things with that High Priestess. Uh, the first card that we pulled for you is the Six of Wands. This is the Victory card. I... this makes sense, though. I get this feeling, Aries, that especially with this Empress card and that Eight of Wands uh, that we were talking about in your general spread or in your general energies, Aries, I'm getting this sense that the Six of Wands is probably what's causing you to just feel good about yourself. And so this could be completely unrelated to the situation. It's almost like, Aries, I'm seeing somebody finally just start developing a level of self-esteem rather than being in this place, being haunted by insecurities. Um, you're finally just experiencing some good, right? And I enjoy that. I celebrate you for that, right? Especially when you have that with the Empress card and Eight of Wands, honey. Ah, so beautiful. So let's see. We have the Seven of Pentacles. So you're thinking long-term, you're making, you're putting in the effort. You're putting in the effort and I get the sense that it's you're just putting in the effort to yourself and those that follow or those that can keep up then what have you, right? You're in this place of wanting to just tend to your crops, right? And anything that's not conducive to that, Aries, you're kind of just like, mm, sayonara. You're kind of, again, in this place of being guarded, in this place of kind of being checked out from this connection because it's just like, for whatever your reasoning is, right? I'm not really getting much of a reference on it so far. I'm just getting <laughs> more of an, <laughs> an idea of just like, where your headspace is at and where your life is going which again not bad cards at all but it still just is leaving me curious as to what happened in this connection that has it in such a finality sense now the chariot is following you right uh because that was the card i think i even said was the from the other deck that fell uh the chariot card was following you so maybe i guess that card was for you before aries but when you have this chariot card you're just on the path you're just on your path. You're on your path, whether that's towards enlightenment, whether that's just towards... I just see this as, like, forward just growth. You're finally... You're almost just catching your groove, Aries. And I don't know. It just almost... I just am getting this sense, Aries. It's like the more confidence you build, the less um, interested that you are in this connection. But uh, we have the Queen of Cups. Yeah, I just feel like your cups are being completely filled at this time, Aries. Um, I don't feel like it's associated with this person whatsoever. I kind of feel like it's through you um, having the successes and just having that Six of Wands moment with the Empress and that Eight of Wands. It's through your self-discovery that you are not necessarily cutting people out, but you're just in this place of, you know, your standards are being raised. You you know, you are accepting less uh, behaviors that just aren't in alignment with you in your life because you're just, all you're thinking about, all, all you are worried about, Aries, is just forward movement, for growth. So let's fall, start pulling some clarifiers for them now, Aries, on their side with that death card, right? Let's see, first clarifier that comes in, the devil card. Hmm. <laughs> let's see here we can take this in a couple ways but i think i need another clarifier three of pentacles oh so aries if there was something that happened between the two of you guys 
I see this as where they're kind of seeing where they messed up. I'm seeing this as where it's just like they're realizing that they want to get back to working with you, collaborating with you, Aries, um, because they see you in a high light. They probably see you in your growth, doing your hustle, doing your thing. And it's because of that, you like, they're just in this place of being like, ah, like they could probably feel like they kind of, they probably feel like a little bit of a jerk for whatever they did, honestly. When they have the devil card coming in like that, uh, for them, they are very self-admittedly like acknowledging like where they uh, did wrong or where they uh, didn't do enough, perhaps, or didn't try hard enough or didn't even try at all, right? You have the Six of Cups. So this is definitely someone who is thinking from the past and being like, I sh dang, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have what have you. Like, insert, shouldn't have w w with whatever. The Six of Cups is letting me know of this person really, they're not done with this connection, I feel. Especially with the Six of Cups coming in. I really do see this as somebody that, um, it's just taking account for like how good of a person you are, Aries, and they see your growth and they're just like, I don't wanna say they want some of that, right? Because that sounds like use of, like them using you. I see this person as just like being aware of like where they were part of the problem, right? I only say part of the problem as well, Aries, just because it's like, I don't wanna just like put all the fault on them, right? Maybe if, if there was a situation, maybe, um, and kind of been from both ways, right? I try to stay as neutral as possible with my readings, but again, if they were in the complete wrong, then of course, Aries. Final card for them, the moon card coming in. Yeah, I feel like they're going to come in out of nowhere. I feel like they're going to, they're probably sitting this thing through. Probably they kind of realize that right now, they probably are aware of the lack of contact because I don't feel like there's much contact going on between you two, if any. I really don't feel like there's really any uh aries between y'all two and i feel like they're just gonna sit with that for a little bit reflect a little bit and then from there at some point they're going to just approach you with like i mean with an offer is something i mean i guess you could say with an offer that three of pentacles because three of pentacles does talk about is like the representation of like contracts and stuff like that right so the clarification we're pulling clarifiers through that strength card i always call it the shadow work card Aries, uh, the first clarifier that we pulled for you was the Page of Wands. So, this, there is like a sense of new energy here. Now, I don't know if it's because you're just welcoming in new energy. Like, this could just be in a sense of where, like, you know, the optimistic side of me, Aries, wants to be like, oh, this is just like, you guys are going to start fresh. You guys are going to, um, take this for one more spin to see if it works but i don't know let's see two of pentacles so a choice is going to be made i do feel like um a choice rather it needs to be made and i do feel like whenever they do approach you aries um you're going to kind of just like go back and forth you're going to be probably overthink this right and when i see this two of pentacles this is definitely someone who's overthinking or perhaps just because they're so distracted with so many other things in their life right now, because the two of wand or uh, two of pentacles does represent chaos going on in the background. Um, you don't know how to handle this, right? You probably just don't know what to do um, with the situation. And I'm getting like Aries for a lot of you guys. It's like the last thing you want to deal with is like whatever it is that they're coming through with that moon card, Aries. Ten of Wands, yeah. It weighs heavy. Like, this is going to weigh heavy on you. This is one of those things, Aries, I don't feel like you can ignore. This is one of those things that I don't think you can kind of just wait it out. Because I feel like the more that you wait it out, the more prevalent that this Ten of Wands becomes, right? And I, I don't know, Aries. I just get this sense of where it's just like, hmm. It's interesting. It's interesting because it's just like... For this to even be like a consideration, Aries, I don't like, even though it seems like you're kind of checked out from the situation, 
you there's still like you still have like a soft spot perhaps when it comes to this person because if you didn't then this situation wouldn't be weighing so heavy on you if you didn't then you wouldn't be considering the option if you just hated their guts and you didn't like them then there wouldn't be that two of pentacles thing where you're weighing out weighing things out and where it's stressing you out because you would just be indifferent to the situation and be like uh eh, bye like you know uh just i don't want to say tossing into the side but just more so like I don't know. I feel like there is definitely something there for you still. Queen of Swords, though you are going to have to kind of loosen your grip on your sword a little bit, Aries. You are going to have to, uh, <laughs> I do see this as you being a little bit more critical, a little bit more defensive when it comes to handling this person, Aries. Which, again, I'm not going to tell you what to do when it comes to this connection. It is just an observation that I'm making um, when I see these cards. And so I just don't see that this Queen of Swords playing, I'm going to be honest, I don't see this Queen of Swords being playing a very positive role when it comes to this connection. I see this as kind of probably being a little bit of a hindrance, right? Now, it's not all necessarily bad, right? Because the Queen of Swords has that self-confidence, right? And it makes sense for you to have that self-confidence with everything good going on in your life. But there is a time to put that sword down. Aries, there is that time to, uh, you know, hold yourself accountable too, right? That's the thing. I always like to uh, hold every every party member accountable because the moment that you're vil villainizing just the other person, putting it all on them, that's a problem. Like you end up getting a god complex because of that, Aries, because the, then you just view it as where you're not doing any wrong, which again is not the worst thing when it comes, especially if you are done with that person, Aries, but it can kind of carry over, right? I've seen it time and time again with people where they will just convince themselves that <laughs> everyone else is the problem, everyone else is a narcissist and a psychopath and what have you, even though like studies show it's such a small percentage of people that are narcissistic and psychopathic and all that, right? But if you continually, if you never hold yourself accountable and you just only focus on what the other party is doing or not doing and what is wrong with them, then, I don't know, it can create a toxic environment for yourself and I feel like it just wouldn't do it justice to your energy. Um, but yeah, Aries, I'm gonna pull a moon card uh, to close out this reading for the energy between y'all two. What can we get when in, in regards to this connection in the future of this connection? How is it going to pan out for y'all? It's time to heal, to release negativity. Full moon in Scorpio. I mean, what was that? What have I been hinting at this entire time, Aries? This is definitely, the spirit's kind of honing in on this as well. This is definitely this push of, um, I'm probably getting that's what it is. Where it's just like the negative feelings that you harbor towards this connection is nothing's going to come up with the situation if, if you choose to do that. Um, Aries, no growth is going to happen. It's just going to forever be at a stalemate. But, um... Yeah, Aries, that's the reading that I have for you. If you enjoyed this reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. And then be sure to share my videos with a friend if you think they might be into my messages. Until next time, though, Aries, I love you so much. Bye.